Now you told us about the great reception all of the Canadians had to the show. Now you've been nominated for two Critics' Choice Television Awards. What did the whole team feel like when you heard? You know, we we don't we don't make TV or, or movies for for recognition. But when 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 we do get them, you feel that you've done a good job. You feel that all that hardship, that that stress, the the you know staying up late, the hard hours, it makes it all worthwhile. Um, it also aired in the States uh, it, on the BET network. Um, and, you know, we're up against amazing shows like 24, um, Oliver Pendridge. So those are top, top shows. So for us as, as South African filmmakers and Canadian filmmakers to be able to compete on that level just shows that we're doing, we're on the right track with, with the, the kind of shows that we're doing and the kind of product that we're making. And I think that was the recognition, you know, just, just makes us feel that we're doing the right thing. So. You know, whether we win or not, just to be nominated in that character is just a huge achievement. And, and particularly the Critics' Choice Award, because as it says, they're critics. So they criticize, they're, they're critic, critiquing a lot of shows. So to get recognition from them was very special to us. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to have the answer to this question, but I know ETV has bought the rights to the show. Do you know when they're planning to air it here in South Africa? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it will go out first on ETV. It might go on one of the pay channels first and then screen on ETV, but it will eventually be on free to air on ETV. And um, yeah, I'm not too sure exactly. I'm hoping it will be sometime this year. All right, well, we'll look into that and then we'll put the correct information in the write up below this video. You mentioned that the show aired on BET, and I understand you're working on another show for BET called Madiba. Tell us about that project. Yeah, we're very, very excited to be partnering with BET again on a six-part uh, mini-series on the life of Nelson Mandela. Um, you know, we've always felt that to tell the story of Nelson Mandela in, in an hour and a half or two hours in a feature film just doesn't give you enough time to explore the man, the, the mystery and the myth that is Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest leaders and people ever to live. So we've got six hours to, to, to tell the story um, and we've partnered with BET once again and uh, um, you know, the, the, the South African government are, are, are investing in the project, so we're very, very excited about it. We've hired Kevin Hooks, who's the LA-based uh, director, and he's directing the series. And we're currently busy casting the show, and we, we're hoping to, to use a number of actors out of South Africa. And we're even very interested in, in, in possibly casting the lead role of Nelson Mandela as a South African. You know, if you have a look at all the projects that have ever been made on Nelson Mandela, they've always been played by a foreigner. And we feel that we want to be as authentic as possible. So we're hoping to find a, an actor in South Africa that can play the lead and then obviously bring big name international actors to surround him as support cast. So we're very excited about the show and uh, we can't wait to get going. We start filming in September and like I said, it's a huge responsibility for us and uh, hopefully we can do it justice. Now, will we get to see Madiba here in South Africa? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, what it's important for us is that we, whoever we negotiate the deal with in South Africa, it's important for us that it airs, if not the same night as the state, but very close to the state. So we're in, we're in discussions with some of the channels here in South Africa, and we're going to make sure that it goes out pretty much the same time as the states. It is South Africa's story. It's our greatest story, and it, it needs to be that way. Now tell me about working in Canada and the States and telling these African and South African stories. What kind of reception do you get? Do people, what, what kind of reaction do people have to these very African stories? The funny thing about African stories is they're universal. Um, so it doesn't matter that they're African stories. They resonate in, in the state. You know, as you know, the states have gone through, especially now, in, which is very relevant, what's happening in Baltimore and Ferguson. Those are, are stories that we went through all those years during apartheid. So the fact that our stories are based in South Africa doesn't mean that they're not recognized and, and, and you know, people and viewers in the States um, enjoy watching them and, and feel a, a closeness and a, a similarity to what they're going through now in the, in, in the States currently in, in 2015. So it's never been hard to, to tell African stories or South African stories in in, in North America, and I think every year it gets better and better. As long as the quality is good and as long as the authenticity is there, I, I think a show, if it's made from the heart with, with the, the, the right script, the right actors, and with authenticity, it's going to be a success anywhere in the world. Lance, we know you're working on Madiba, and the Book of Negroes is, is done and under your belt, and you're receiving all of these amazing nominations for it. Can you give us a sneak peek at any other projects you might be working on? 
Sure. We, we're currently filming the first uh, Netflix show to ever shoot in Africa in Johannesburg. Um, and after Madiba, we are very excited to do, be doing another uh, series with BET called Sullivan's Travels. Um, and that's a, a, a legal drama. So we're going totally away from historical uh, content and going into a, a legal drama. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we're doing a couple of shows for Discovery, which we're going to be shooting down in, in, in South Africa. You know, even though I'm based in, in Toronto, my aim is still to shoot as much as I can in South Africa, because obviously it's my place of home, it's my birthplace, and I love shooting in South Africa. So any, any chance I can to get back to South Africa, I'll jump at the opportunity. Lance, South Africa is very proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing, and we'll see you when you're back in the country. Thank you so much, and thanks for your time. It's been great to talk to you.